everyone, my name's Margo. It's 37 degrees outside. I just came out of the shower, my air conditioning's on, and let's do this. For today's video, I'd like to share with you another first novel, this time by Jasmine Warga, which is My Heart and Other Black Holes. It was published in 2015. So for this story, we have two characters, Azel and Roman, who are both suicidal. And they found each other through this website called Smooth Passages. And one of the forums or message boards in this website was uh, Suicide Partners. Essentially, Suicide Partners work as a place where you can find your partner for when you... kill yourself. That's where Azel and Roman found each other. The goal is for you to find someone who's near your area and it so happened that Roman's, uh, Roman's house is only 15, away, 15 minutes away from Azel's house. Even though this story talks about a difficult topic which is mental illness especially depression I found that this book somehow romanticizes mental illness I love reading books talking about difficult topics and I found this one it's not actually taking the topic lightly but it's just glorifying the illness. There are a few passages and descriptions in this book that describes depression clearly and, as we say it, on point. However, Azel and Roman's story worked under the trope we have in young adult books where there's an unpopular girl and there's a jock both with dark past and the girl falling in love with the guy and the guy trying to be the knight in shining armor and love working its way through the characters and eventually doing its magic now maybe I'm not sure in real life maybe it works but there's just this comical delivery that I found while reading the book and I'm not mad at it. I know I will find and read a book like this one that discusses mental illness from a romantic point of view. I do understand that Jasmine Warga uh, wrote this book inspired from her experience when she lost a friend so maybe her writing fluffy good ending for the characters reflected how she wanted that thing to have happened to her friend I'd say this book is an introductory novel about mental illness if you don't want to or if you're not ready to dive into the dark stories about mental illness maybe you could start with this one it talks about it but in this book there is hope if you're hopeful then this is good I'm not saying there's no hope in mental illness but this one is taking it lightly not in a bad way, I, I, how do I say this? Okay, I won't even try, just this book is a good introductory to diving in stories talking about mental illness. It's not bad, it's not great, it's, it's okay. Although the title deceived me personally, I was expecting for great things, but well, Sometimes we get good titles and not so good stories, so 
Again, I think I'm coming off as someone who's not recommending this book, but yes, you could read this. I am recommending this book. I'm just saying it's not phenomenal. Check it for yourself. My Heart and Other Black Souls by Jasmine Warga. That's it for today. See you. Bye.